Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to day 23 of the Jelly Postcard Play Challenge. It We are in the final third and it's I'm very excited. I am doing houses and this is my postcard today. I played around with my watercolor pencils the other day and this was a from a coloring book and I thought maybe we could do something with these houses. I kind of like them. They're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Contemporary? Modern? This is a very different look for me. Don't worry, those others may show up somewhere else. I'm going to take the whites off of here just to, I don't know if I want the border or not, but I'll leave the border on there for now. And see what we have. I remember when I first started doing all of this and I saw somebody on line do that with a ruler and I thought, I forgot all about the fact that you could tear things like that. Okay, I'm thinking I might just want one square of this. This one maybe? That one? Not sure it makes a difference. We'll put that one away. We're going to use this one. So I have my jelly print. This is a, a pull that I did and I had put a pattern into um, with some success. And I have, and I like the yellow. We're nice and bright and yellowy today. So I want to keep with the yellow. I need to put something under here that's a house, but I don't think I want a stamp or anything like that. I think I want to stick with something geometric. So these are all squares and angles. These are all squares and angles. I think I need some squares and angles for over here. Be right back. All right, I'm back with a bunch of scraps. And my I just got this. this I also got this from a... Um, another thrift store. You know me. I like my thrift stores. So what I tried to do was find a scrap in every color that I used. Oh, that just fits. Um, let's go just go ahead and cut that into a couple because I'm not, I've got an idea of what I want to do, but I don't know. See, it just fits. Okay, so I got a couple of those. Let me just set those up there. I'm hoping this green strip is going to be wide enough. It is, again, just like the other one, just enough. This is a one-inch hole punch. So I'm getting exactly one-inch pieces out of it. And that's about what these are. They're just a little bit over an inch. Okay, this is an old ticket with a camel on it, but I don't think the camel's going to show. Oh, it might not like... Okay, hang on. Rip that out of there. Throw that one away. Let me put you on here with another piece. We'll see if we can do you both at the same time. That might get me what I need. Yeah, there we go. That's a trick that you can do if you have a piece of paper that just doesn't want to go through. Just try it that way, and that works. Okay, so now I have some blues and some greens, and I want this shade of blue as well. This is actually, you can tell, this is how old this is. This is from a Daisy Wheel printer. That's how old this piece of paper is. It's been around a long time. Now, I probably should keep that, so I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. You may see it yet on something else. I'm thinking these two pieces, I want to cut straight across, grabbing my, which I have buried because I haven't been using it, so my cutter is a bit buried. Let's go about here. 
And then let's see, using these, we're gonna, how wide are these? That's four and a, or an inch and a half, so I wanna come in here. Can't do it that way, gotta do it this way. An inch and a half. That's an extra piece, we'll put that aside because what I want to then do is cut this into a triangle. You see where I'm going? I think you start to see where I'm going. Okay, I've cut that one into a triangle. And I want, how wide is, this one's a little bit wider. So this one's just a little over four and a half. So let's go, uh, or four and a half, one and a half. So let's go just a little bit over one and a half. And then we're going to cut that piece into a triangle. And I can cut the other ones into triangles too if I need to, but I want to do it this way and see what happens. All right, now we got our building blocks. Let's play. So I'm thinking we could put a house here with a roof. Okay. But I have all of these other really cool blocks that could kind of go up behind if I can pick them up. Oh my glory. I make like uh, other roofs, like there are other houses behind there. I was thinking about doing two houses here, but I don't do I want that one or would I rather really have Oh, that didn't quite get done. That one. I think if I'm going to keep in the keeping with these, it has to be, I mean, I could do this and that, but that's kind of dull. So we're going to go with the colors. By the way, if you're seeing anything on my arm, I had to, uh, I have to have some blood work done just because, you know, it's just that time of year. You, so I'm going to have some blood work done. I, I'm going to color on here, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to make sure I get my pieces in the right spot. And I have my 23. I don't want to lose my 23. It's very small. Those are, again, from my music uh, thing. So, okay. I think this is going to be it. So let me take a minute. And I cut a lot of those squares I'm not going to need. Let me real quick do it a little drawing. Hang on. I'm reaching for my black pieces and I just got a brand new black marker. There it is. It's a black fine print. Yes, Sharpie. And we're going to hand draw so it may not be exactly straight. A little door. You know what? I'd rather than do that, Hang on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have a... What color do I want for my roof? Or my door? Do we want to give it a green door? I think we want to give it a green door. I'm going to put our green door right there so it matches the other doors. Okay, see, I, I'm building today. I'm building with building blocks. So this might end up being a slightly longer video, and if so, I'm sorry about that, but I'm building. And I'm going to retrace around that in a minute to make sure... I'm, where's my scissors? Okay, we'll get rid of that baby off my. Okay, so now we have a door. Where to put my pen? I wanna go around it with my pen. And we'll give it a little window. And a handle. Yeah, I think we'll leave it. The other ones don't have windows. 
I think we're going to leave it like that. But this one, so this door has a little bit more realism because it has a, a window. And we're going to put our 23 on it. But I want it, where did I just, I just threw away that little piece of green. So, and I don't think it was big enough anyway. So let's cut. I can always trim it down. And put our 23 on it. I want it on there. Okay. Here we go. I, You know me. I'm not real good with miniatures. But I'm doing my best. Building these little miniatures. Okay. So I'm going to pick you up. You've got glue on the back of you now. We're going to put you right. I hope I'm not even sure if I'm in frame. Let me come up here so I know I'm in frame and put my two down. And I really don't even care if it's a little bit wonky because the houses on this side are really wonky. So there's my three. Don't bend over on me. And I don't have my tweezers. My tweezers are elsewhere at the moment. So we're gonna do this the hard way. 23, a little wonky. Okay. Of course, when you do that, you get glue all over you too. We're not in scale. That's okay. Not, none of this is in scale. All right, before I glue that down, what I want to do is go around the outline of this with, I think I'm going to stick with my black. Um, partly because I have it out, but partly be from the other day. It's still sitting out here. But partly because I, the lines on here are black. So it makes sense to put a line around the outside in black. See, that, just, that works just fine. There. Okay, now, do I want those houses sticking up there? I think I do, and we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna do them in black too. We're gonna do everything. I'm dropping things over here. Okay, everybody's gonna get outlined in black. Because it's a coloring book. And everything gets outlined in black. Where's my top? We can do this with an, a pen as well. I hope you're having a good time with these. I obviously, I like, I am playing and having a good time playing. I'm gonna turn this over cause that's getting a little sticky over there. Okay, let's go ahead and glue things down. Okay. Now, I have noticed that several people doing this use a Liquitex matte medium to glue things down with. Um, I have not yet played with that. I do want, oh, wait, 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 shoot. You gotta put your roofs down first. Cause they go underneath. So, let me think about where I want this. Right about here. And they don't have to be exact. It's okay if it's not exact. And here. So I'm really obviously kind of upping my game here a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more glue to that just to clean off that thing. Okay. There we go. So we have some roof sticking up over there. 
and I'll go around those with a pen in a minute. And I have, I want to make sure that I have enough room here. Yeah. So we're going to glue you down. Great big 23. And then we're going to glue the roof down. And grab my pen. Make it look like a coloring book. And a coloring book would come all the way across. I know I'm not talking, it's because I'm concentrating. So very hard. There we go. So there we are, day twenty three. With our houses, this is what it looks like. Oh, that was a hard one. That one took me some time. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Please make sure you hit the like button to let me know if you are enjoying these. This is Cindy with a very tilted camera. Sorry about that. I must have hit it when I started things up again. I apologize for the camera angle. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.